Yeah, I was totally wrong on this prediction. Miguel Cotto did everything that he needed to do and more. And it helped him dominate throughout the fight. Not just help him win, he dominated the fight. You know, I mentioned in my Keys to Victory video that, you know, he needed to do some things as far as, you know, he needed to time the left hook, use it as a counter punch, stay in the center of the ring, and a, a couple more things. And, you know, you know, it's crazy because I was kind of like battling with myself, like, you know, uh, he has the tools, but will he even use them? Will he even know they're available to him? As far as, you know, does he have the confidence to use them? Because, you know, Koto had lost his confidence after the losses he suffered. And, you know, he was talking about retirement before the trout fight. And I just really didn't think Koto had the spirit to fight the way he used to fight. And that's really what had me lean towards Martinez for the most part. It wasn't because Martinez was, you know, a, a great fighter himself. And the one and who has and has experience, but I just really felt Cotto just wasn't, you know, ready to continue his fighting career. I felt like maybe he's just towards the end, but now it seems that he's got a, a good amount of fights left in him. Um, and if he really decides to retire now, you know, I, you know, he would be able to go out on top and. You know, look, the way he looked after the fight and they announced his name as a winner, he looked calm. He looked happy, but very reserved. He didn't celebrate in joy and, and, and cheers. He looked like he was relieved and he looked at peace with himself. And I guess it was him letting go of the of what haunted him in the past years from the Margarito loss and the Pacquiao loss and the Mayweather loss. You know... It, it almost seemed like he he let it all go and he was ready to I guess go in a whole new direction and in a fresh direction with a trainer like Freddie Roach who you know Cotto and Freddie you know they make a good team and Cotto looks refreshed at 160 he doesn't have to kill himself to make any weight and I feel like that's what's going to if he does decide to keep going, I think that's, when, that's what's going to help him make the decision as far as staying at 160. Because his conditioning looked excellent. He didn't, you know, tire out after six, seven rounds. He looked fresh throughout the fight. Where does Cotto go from here? You know, we really don't know. They're saying Canelo, but he has a tough fight with Lara. They're saying Golovkin. That's a possibility. You know, anybody at 160. I mean, Freddie Roach mentioned, you know, anyone from 47 to 160. And, you know, and Freddie Roach has, you know, said in the past that Cotto can make 147. Especially in the shape that he's in now. But I really feel like Cotto wants to really stamp the rest of his legacy at 160 and defend that title. Because he is now the lineal middleweight champion. Um, and where does Sergio Martinez go from here? You know, it's, you know, it's obvious, you know, when your body doesn't respond, when your body just isn't what it used to be, there's no sense of going on any further. And, you know, it's time for Martinez to say goodbye. And, you know, it was tough. You know, it was, it was really, it, it was like, it was a bittersweet moment because I, I told you previously that I love both these guys and you know it was great watching them throughout their career but it was really tough to see you know Martinez wanting to come out and his trainer just you know Pablo Sarmiento said you know it's there's no more there's nothing left you your legs are done they're they're gone you're not responding your legs your knees are not responding you know you're always going to be a champ for me you're always going to be the greatest and Martinez, you know, you know, telling him, you know, let me come out one more round. Let me come out one more. You know, please let me come out one more time. You know, it was hard. It was hard. You know, it, it reminded me of, you know, when when uh, Deloya was 
you know, taking a beating from Pacquiao and and it just you didn't see any you didn't see anything good coming out of of De La Hoya in that fight and and that and that reminded me of that fight what happened last night. Martinez, a a great former champion, who had a a great excellent career, who who did himself proud and his country proud, but you obviously saw in the fight that it's it was his time to go and to let other fighters carry the torch and in this case Miguel Cotto and you know I said bittersweet is because you know I was happy for Cotto because you know he he really needed a victory like this because for a long time it seemed like he was searching for his old self trying to find the perfect trainer to bring him back or to make him better and I feel like he he's you know he's just at peace with himself and and he's happy you know the sky's the limit for him right now whether he stays at 160 I, I believe he will who is gonna fight next we don't know yet and but I bet whoever it will be you know you could you know you could guarantee that it's gonna be a great fight on paper and when it takes place in the ring uh, thanks guys for tuning in until next time see you later